to the students of the Fernando School, St. Helena, California, May 17, 1903. I am very much pleased to know that during the first term of the school, souls have been converted. I hope that you will always remember that it is for your eternal interest to make the most of your capabilities and opportunities. Remember that in your school life, here below, you can, if you choose, fit yourselves for entrance into the school above. Those who are indeed Christians will reveal in their lives a fragrance of character that will win others to Christ. While you're in school, help your teachers all you can. Do not grieve and perplex them. They are human like yourselves, and they need the grace of Christ as verily as you need it. Make the way as pleasant as possible for them. Be pleasant and agreeable. Be careful in regard to your words and actions. Do not make it necessary for your teachers to correct you again and again in regard to your personal habits. Correct all that is lax or careless in your speech or your habits. Do not pass this over as a matter of little consequence. Wherever you are, keep your room clean and tidy. Let no dirt or rubbish accumulate, lest the Lord pass by and see your uncleanness. Christ is pure and holy and undefiled. Do not grieve the heavenly angels by cherishing untidy, shiftless habits. It rests with yourselves to decide whether you will be accepted by the Lord as vessels unto honor, fit for his use. The Lord desires to see in you a daily improvement. Your parents sent you to school with the hope that you would obtain an education that would make you more helpful in the home, more obedient, more kind, more thoughtful. The school term is about to close, and as you return to your homes, let your parents see that the school has accomplished much for you, making you a blessing in the home and in the Lord's work. Signed, Ellen G. White.